Today we're going to be talking about coternal angles. So the definition of coternal angles are two angles in standard position that have the same terminal side. What the heck does all of that mean? So we just got done graphing angles in degrees. And so if we have an angle that we're going to graph, we have this right there is called the initial side. That's the side that we start with for every single angle that is in standard position. And then we go some direction here, whether it's positive or negative. And this right there is the terminal side. So that's the ray of the angle where the angle stops. We start with the initial side, we end with the terminal side. Well, here's one angle, okay? Here's one angle. And if we, let's just say that's, I don't know, let's call it 100 and, 100 and I don't know, 10 degrees, let's even say. Um, we can go around again and land there, okay? So we could go around the circle again. Or instead of going that this direction positive, we could have a negative angle where we go this direction, okay? So we've gone uh, the other direction from that terminal side, we've gone a full 360 degrees around, or from here we could go 360 degrees the other direction, okay? So pretty much with this, we're gonna be finding positive and negative coterminal angles based on an angle that's given to us, okay? Now, if it helps you to draw these and graph them, great. You don't necessarily have to in degrees. It might not be as necessary as in radians, okay? So for this, if we're going to find a positive and a negative angle, coterminal with the given angle. So that means that if we have 100, okay, and for our positive, we're going to take that 100 degrees and we're going to add 360 degrees because we're going around again. And when we do that, we get 460 degrees. So that's a positive coterminal angle. That's if we went around the circle one more time. Well, if I wanted to go again, I could, and then I could add another 360. It just says a positive coterminal angle, so it does not say that you need to find all of them. You would be here literally forever finding every single positive. So as long as you have a positive, you're good to go. For the negative, we're still starting with that same 100 degrees, but this time we're going clockwise around the circle. We're going to go negatively, which means we're going to subtract 360 degrees, which means that we would have negative 260 degrees as a, our negative coterminal angle. Again, that's not the only negative coterminal angle. You can subtract 360 again if you wanted and get there. All right, negative 180. If we have that in degrees, we're going to go around the circle positively which means we're going to add 360 negative 180 degrees is the exact same thing as positive 180 degrees for our negative coterminal angle we're going to start with again that same um that same negative 180 this time we're going to subtract 360 degrees though so one negative coterminal angle with that would be negative 540. Okay. All right. If we're looking at something like negative 600 degrees, if we add 360, that does not get us into the positives. Okay. It must be a positive number to be a positive coterminal angle. That means that I'm going to have to add another 360 to it, which means we're actually adding 720 degrees to it. That would give me a positive 120 degrees. Okay, that is one positive coterminal angle. In terms of the negative, here's where you kind of have choices to make, um, and both of them could be correct. So we just talked about that if we add 360 degrees, that means that we would still be negative. We would still be negative at negative 240 degrees. Or 
what most people do for this is they just get into that habit of subtracting 360 degrees and if we do that we have negative 960 degrees so either one of those would get you full credit you do not need to list both of them if i list negative 240 and you list negative 960 as your answer you can still get and will get full credit you just have to make sure that they're co-terminal okay so if we have 720 degrees and we want a positive here's where we have choices so we could take that 720 we could add 360 to it and get 1080 degrees or we know if we start with that 720 degrees and we subtract 360 we're still positive so uh, 1080 or 360 could both be considered our positive coterminal angles in terms of the negative coterminal angle um, we know that we have to keep subtracting multiple things so in this case if we subtract 360 we know from up here that we're at 360 that's still positive that's not negative if we subtract another 360 which would be subtracting 720 we're at zero. Zero is not positive or negative so you can't do that so we actually have to go around the circle three times which would be subtracting uh, 1080 degrees which would give us negative 360 degrees as our negative coterminal angle now what i did here in this case is i you know added 720 because i did 360 twice in my head you could take that value add 360 see what you get and if you have to add 360 again or same thing here take the 720 subtract 360 subtract 360 and then subtract 360 again until you get to a negative number okay so that is positive or negative coterminal angles when they are degrees so we're going to also do the same steps with radians but before we can do that we have we have to actually know how to graph an angle in radian form so the first thing we're going to do is begin by identifying the axes of 0 90 180 270 and 360 in terms of radians so if i look at this um, we know that this is 0 90 180 270 and then back to 360 again right that's in degrees well what the heck happens when we're in radians okay so i'll put a d for degrees above this we know from converting that an entire circle well we could start at zero but an entire circle in radians is 2 pi that means that half of that would be 1 pi half of uh, that would be pi over 2 and halfway between pi and 2 pi so halfway between 1 and 2 is 1 and a half or 3 halves and it's going to have that pi with it okay so this is something that you can do in this and I'll also talk about a different way that you can kind of talk uh, graph these things so i'll kind of go two directions with these all right so if we're going to graph three pi over four again we know um that this is so I'll, I'll show you one way on this one and then i'll i'll talk about a different way as well um so we know that this is two pi and pi pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Okay, so we have 3 fourths of pi. We have 3 fourths of pi. That means that here is our initial sign, the positive x axis. We're going 3 quarters of the way to pi. So here we're going positively 3 quarters of the way to pi. And so then that would be 3 pi over 4 if that way makes sense great if it doesn't here is another way that we can go about doing this um and let's see i'm actually going to come over here for the other way to do this so um we know that this is pi but since we're in fourths with this question that means that there would be four fourths by the time we make it over to pi 
this would be then eight fourths because that is two. So ultimately what this means is that there are one, two, three, four equal pieces by the time we make it here. Five, six, seven, eight equal pieces by the time you make it all the way around. All right, so there are eight pieces of pizza in this circle. If we are at three pi over four, we want three of those. So we're, um, let's see here, we would have our positive x axis. We're going one, two, three of those pieces of pizza to make it there. Still graph the same angle, whichever one makes more sense to you. You don't necessarily have to dash in the pieces of pizza, but if it helps, I would highly suggest it. Okay, so then let's graph negative pi over four negative pi over four all right this time we're going negative so um this would be zero pi and then this would be negative pi over two negative pi negative three pi over two and then this would be negative two pi all right and if you're doing it in fourths which is fine, then this would be negative four fourths. So this would be negative two fourths, which simplifies to be a half. And this would be negative six fourths and negative eight fourths. And this might look really confusing to begin with, but as you get a uh, once you get a handle of it, it's okay. So here's your positive x-axis, negative one fourth. So again, remember there's one two three four pieces of pizza by the time you make it over here to negative pi we only want one of those so there's our angle another way you can deal with these if you really really want is you can turn them into degrees and then um, graph it and convert it back it's kind of up to you but i think you should be able to handle this here okay so if we're going to graph negative two pi over three um I'm going to go ahead and make this be negative three thirds and negative six thirds, which means halfway in between there would be negative, I'm going to say 1.5 thirds. Now I know we can't really write it like that, but we're going to, it's okay. And up here would be negative 4.5 pi thirds. All right, so that means that we have um, one two three equal pieces by the time we make it over there pi so we want two of them and we went clockwise because it is a negative angle all right uh then we have pi here if we're going to graph pi that's really easy for us because we just need the x-axis all right so if we're trying to find then last piece a positive and negative angle coterminal with a given angle i'm just going to do one of these for the sake of time here um so if we're at three pi over four and we have a positive so before we did this we added 360 or subtracted 360 well we're no longer in degrees we're in radians so we have to add two pi or subtract two pi. Well, in order to do this, we need to get a common denominator of fourths. So two is the same thing as eight fourths. If I add those together, the fourth stays the same. Oh, I'm making too many lines. And 11 pi over four is our positive. To get our negative, we're gonna take that three pi over four and we're gonna subtract two pi. Again, get a common denominator. And that leaves us with negative five pi over four is our negative. So we need one positive, one negative. You're either adding 360 or subtracting 360 if you're in degrees, adding two pi or subtracting two pi if you're in radians. Okay, and that's it.